about a little over a year ago that uh, we set up, my husband and I set up a not-for-profit trust in Bangalore called the South Asian Symphony Foundation. We actually have a database that consists of musicians from Afghanistan uh, to Sri Lanka, India, uh, Nepal, a few of Nep uh, Nepalese. Uh, Bangladesh and Bhutan, uh, we have not been able to find many musicians, but we did identify. And uh, we have expanded the definition of South Asia to include the diaspora of South Asian origin. So we have, uh, we have linked up with Singaporeans of South Asian origin, Americans of South Asian origin, and a few from Europe. The conductor of the orchestra, in fact, is Singaporean, who is of Sri Lankan Tamil extraction. His name is uh, Arumugam, Alvin Arumugam. One of the musicians in our orchestra is a serving member of the US Coast Guard. She's a, she, she is a musician first class. Her name is Meera Gudipati, father's from Andhra Pradesh. And she came on the express instructions from the US Coast Guard that she would play in her uniform. So she played in her uniform in our concert in Bangalore. She is the principal flautist of the orchestra. Not only are we bringing musicians of the region together, we call it uh, a, a journey for peace and we would like to include more and more musicians from the neighborhood. We've not been able to include anybody from Pakistan, we've not found anybody. Signature tune for the orchestra, the one we play at every concert, concert is this composition we call Hum Safar. Uh, which, is, which has taken seven songs from the region, from India, from Pakistan, from Nepal, from Bhutan, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Afghanistan. Uh, we couldn't find the song from the Maldives as yet, but we hopefully will add that on. And we created this beautiful piece called Hum Safar, where at the first concert in Bombay, we invited uh, traditional instrumentalists to come. So we got three musicians from Afghanistan and three from Jammu and Kashmir who played on the stage with the orchestra. And it was beautiful because the Hamsafar came alive. I think got an extra sort of infusion of life with these instruments like Rabab, Santur, Chumbak Nari, Tanpur. We even did an invocation, Maitrim Bhajata, which, is, which was written by the Kanchi Shankaracharya in 1966, which speaks about cultivating friendship in hearts everywhere. So it's a very uh, universal message. It was performed by M.S. Subalakshmi at the United Nations in 1966. we orchestrated it for the symphony. So the symphony played it and we had a Carnatic musician singing it. It's an effort to bridge uh, both traditional and global, you know, uh, to bring South Asia to the world and bring the world to South Asia. Mm -hmm.